family absolutely never separated. We're going to talk about organizing the Day of Unity. I have no idea where to go and find rubber bracelets, but I uh, Basically, we just get people together, you know, to unite about all these, Some like, fans you know. drove for hours. Where are you guys from? Tampa, Texas. Tampa, Texas, Lafayette. Some are from here, from Houston. I love you. We're going to make it on the third. You'll see it's going to be big. You know, right here on the side, we have a street that goes around the side of the building. We can park along the side, and uh, street, and then we're talking about a 1.6 mile walk, which, I mean, I, I don't work out at all. I don't work out at all, but every once in a while, I think I'm going to go work out, and I'll go to Memorial Park. You have you been to the three-mile, it's a three-mile track. Uh, it's a three-mile track. You can't stop. It's a big circle. So I'm looking forward to the day that Carlos gets out of prison, you know. I'm looking forward to the day where I can I can work for him again. I worked for him for like 15 years. T. Carol Dope House Raiders got the legendary Low G here. You see we got the Dope House Army behind us. Show us support for that boy Carlos Coy. It's the Day of Unity, October 3rd. We're going to walk down to the DA's office at 1201 Franklin Street, and we're going to do a peaceful protest for the retrial of Carlos Coy, a.k.a. SPM, from 1 to 3. Then we're going to come back to the Dope House Records at 2122 Center Street. We're going to have a mixer for everybody to come out and hear the artists talk about their great experiences with Carlos Coy. You know, I can actually say that that was probably the, uh, you know, the best 15 years of my life. You know? his, his absence has left... You know, a deep, deep uh, hole in my life, you know. So. TV, man, and we're going to mob up to the DA's office, and we're going to let them know, man, we need to free this man, free this South Park Mexico, man. We're here now, October the 3rd. Day of Unity. I'm looking forward to him getting out, you know. Without him out, you know, I'm definitely, I'm definitely, there's, and I imagine that's for any, uh, you know, uh, sister, maybe. You know, he was my little brother, so I acted very much like a, I guess like a mom to him, you know. I'm, and I'm definitely not trying to take my mom's place because she was a very hardworking woman. She was a very good woman. She was a very good example of, of, uh, of hard work and, and, and how, you know, uh, hard work is, 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 is the, it's not uh, an option. It's, it's life, you know. And, and so, and she never, we didn't grow up on, uh, you know, food stamps. And, and we were, uh, you know, we were uh, single. You know, my mom was a single woman, and she was a hardworking woman, and she, she paid the bills, you know. And, um, um, and we, we grew up with those same morals, those work morals where, Every day, you know, we were here, and it, it was great working with Carlos. Carlos is a is a, a, a very talented, smart, and always has been, just above the rest. You know, he was my entertainment. He was my my uh, he was everything to me. He was funny. He was better than any boyfriend I ever had. He was more fun to hang out with, and you know, I was very close with Carlos. So. Thank you. 
soldado low G, dope house records, you know what I'm saying, so uh, you're going to catch your boy doing a lot of new stuff, we're going to update you, so uh, stay tuned, we're doing a lot of stuff straight from the Hustle Town, straight from the castle, dope house lives TV, so uh, catch me in there, stay tuned, we're going to give you a lot of great news and updates, man, Freedom X, trying to stop us, but the Mexican lives, man, for sure, Jose. <laughs>
be ignored. So unite together. Speak up, Avalos, but keep it respectful. Do not curse. Do not disrespect the officers. Show respect. And remember, we are here to honor Los and innocent. Uh, go ahead and let the people know who you are and uh, what you think about the Day of Unity. Yeah, my name is Donnie Burns. Uh, I've been a friend of the Coy family. Mr. Uh, uh, Tootie, Tootie uh, Coy has my, been my friend for over 30 years. I've known Los before he even knew how to rap, uh, back when he was a kid running around in Sunnyside and Hillwood. Uh, I was at the Day of Unity, seen a big pour out of uh, support for Carlos, a nice walk on the Harris County District Attorney's Office, the courthouse. There was no violence, no trashing, just a peaceful, calm protest to show unity. some noise. I know all of you have great voices. I want you to raise those signs up high. Hi. I want to hear why we are here today. The people that are running our justice system are as hard for them to acknowledge fault or wrongdoing. But they're real quick to pass it out. What we have to do is we have to stay positive don't become one of them. Like this. We're going to bow our head and we're going to pray. Because Los is not the only one in there fighting this giant. You understand? There's many more people fighting this giant. But we're going to back up Los. So, on behalf of everybody, we're going to pray, man. Bow your head, man. Take your hats off, gentlemen. Father Lord, we're here in Houston at the courthouse for one purpose and one purpose only. Be justice for our brother Carlos Coy. So in your name, we ask that you put wisdom words in our mouth. This, this here is a peaceful march and all the purposes of Carlos. So God bless everybody that is here and thank everybody for being in here with us protesting, man. And uh, take care of everybody on the way home. For now, God, we praise in your name, sir. Amen. 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 What was it that stood out there? One of the biggest things that stood out is even though it was on the part of the negativity is what's happened to Lowe's, the people weren't belligerent, spewing out hate. Really, part of it mostly was, was positive. and we're going to bring you the facts, and that's what we got to stick to, the fact. Freedom X! 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 They've been doing that for many years. They did it to your grandpa. They did it to your great-grandpa. We must Stop them from keep continuing to because if we don't stop them, they're gonna do it to your son. They're gonna do it to your whole family, man. We gotta stand for something. So we here today asking for justice. Freedom X, man. What do we want? What do we want? Now! What do we want? Freedom! What do we want? Now! Freedom X! 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 For a case that had tampered with evidence, a judicial system that was crooked, and a judge that was vindictive. This is not right. The only person who's been in jail was the judicial system that betrayed us as voters and citizens who believe in the judicial system. We can change that. We do not have to have a crooked judicial system. We can have a good judge. We can have a good DA. Stand up right now, demand that they give him freedom, and we need to change stuff now. Let's do this the right way. I'm gonna let Carolyn do something because y'all know. That's so once you hear it, mm -hmm. follow our lead. Come on, Carolyn. Today they 
Karen, so what did you think about the Day of Unity? I thought it was a really successful event. And um, I lost my voice for two weeks after that. Longest I've ever lost my voice for. We are together. This is the day. The Day of Unity is here. What are we here to do? Freedom X! Freedom X! Um, I was really scared. I was never going to be able to sing again. Because I sang the actual song. See? Freedom X! Freedom X! Freedom X! feel like uh, anybody directly responded to it, but at the same time, being that it was a peaceful protest kind of proves that, um, that you can gather a lot of people together and not have, like, fights and, you know, just bad things happening. It was all positive vibe. So, at least that, and Freedom hopefully... Freedom 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 Freedom
came from out of town. I got some people here from Mexico. So on behalf of the people that are recording, I'm going to talk in Spanish, man. I'm going to talk in Spanish with him. Let's do it. quiero agradecer por haber venido a la marcha de Carlos Coy. Estamos aquí en frente de la corte para dejarles saber que no vamos a dejar que ellos lo dejen en la cárcel. Queremos que otra vez lo traigan a la corte para que, para que, sea, para que se haga justicia. So, quiero que los que sepan español digan, ¡Libren a Carlos Coy! ¡Libren a Carlos Coy! ¡Libren a Carlos Coy! ¡Libren a Carlos Coy! dropped an album three days ago and three. it's number one on itunes we yeah. see what they made yeah. In 1996, Rashid, Low G in South Park, Mexico, man, with the help of Sylvia and Arthur Court, man, we didn't know that we were going to captivate so many minds, man. We were just trying to stop from the circle, man, from the vicious circle that they got us going, man. You know? And, man, I'm, I'm out of words. All I can say, man, that they got to free that Mexican, man. Free Carlos Court, man! Free Carlos Court! Free Carlos Court! Free Carlos Court! Free Carlos Court! This could have been you. This could have been you. I know you got some people incarcerated, man. So our boys gotta be real loud. We gotta be noticed, man. We came over here for one reason and for one reason only. And what's the reason? Justice, man. Justice! 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 system ignored us today. We need a new political system, a new DA, a new judge, a new mayor who actually cares about you. They do not care about you because they are not here. You do not think that she can come from her office right now and listen to what you have to say. She is not here. Keep that in mind. The DA is upstairs in an AC while we are sweating out here. I'm losing my voice because he does not care. Well, we care. expecting for something bad to happen, but nothing bad happened because it was a peaceful protest.
Yeah, yeah. 3 SPM. All right. Appreciate it. See you back at the Dope House. Dope House Records, baby. Free the Mexican! Free the Mexican! I walk back, it's okay. Flip, flip. Free the mix. Hey, Carlos, man, we love you, man. We're here for you, man. I miss you. Can't wait to see you, man. We love you, man. For a player, the green eyes and the pretty red hair. Oh shit, man, the jealous bitches wanna fight like on Moana. Maria wanna, you was born in Mexico. Bringing everybody together at the Dope House was really great, and being able to see uh, people that I hadn't seen in a long time. And um, it was the last day that I got to talk to uh, Carlos before he wasn't able to be on the phone for a long time. Um, and then, I, of course, I get to be in my hometown of Houston. It's basically been like my hometown for a long time, so it was great. Let me tell you how we're gonna flip this game. Showers of bullets straight from my head. Take a fucking seat, it's a lyrical game. Don't get the loose, you know I'm coming out the corner and I'm tearing out your faith. Haters wanna hook you on my hook to the fade. Little trace, so demented when I rake its way to the six. So my dick do a trick while I sit back and take another hit. Start here, little snading, I'm a daily disease. World so cold, just watch it over freeze. CTM is here, bitch, so get on your knees. Now let's do the scientific something down fooler. Six inches the size of a little guy. Seven inches the size of a small fry. Nine inches close to this little guy. But I ain't gonna talk about that. It's for the woman's eyes. Anyway, yo, break it off for 12. The homie gotta get it, cause he broke, he living in hell. My life is going to 12 when I tell when I'm solo. Everybody make some noise for DJ Lomo! Great to see all that in person and all together, coming from all different areas. People came from really far, you know. Uh, one of my uh, fans that actually, you know, brought me to Houston because he really wanted to come is from Fresno, California. So it was great seeing fans from all over the place. And it's always great to see, um, quick, great to see the people that I already you know. Man, I'm gonna do a roll call, and man. DJ Lobo been putting it down with Dope House since day one before I got here. Matter of fact, I'm gonna tell y'all a story. DJ Lobo, my bad. DJ Lobo was the star of the Imposter Tour. Has anyone heard of the Imposter Tour? Okay. One time, South Park Mexican couldn't make it to the show. So what did he do? He said, me, and his coasters look alike. <laughs> DJ Lobo. Okay, I'm going to make it quick. I won't bore y'all. But anyway, we did a show. Now, at the show, I was nervous because I didn't know the people was going to be mad because, you know what I'm saying, it wasn't South Park Mexican, but they didn't really know. So what I did was I was grabbing him and throwing him all over the stage, doing the racks, just throwing him around, punching him, beating him up. And SPM seen the footage. And he said, Sheedy, come here, let me talk to you. I, I said, I said, what's up, Lowe's? He said, why you do stop by messing like that? <laughs> there will be a situation where he would be able to get a retrial. And, you know, hopefully this can happen again and make even more of an impact. So I had a really good time at the end of it all. Um, and I had a good time because of the fans, because the fans are the reason why we're even here doing this. So they really make you want to keep going and... <laughs> My man, <laughs> play that next beat. I'm gonna pass the mic to Doom, dog. Come on, Doom. Let the guys begin. I can't do that rap, right, man. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Ah, uh, there you go. Where you at, y'all? Anybody wanna get the mic or something? Man, Tony Rex. I know you ain't. I know you wanna get some, dog. But look, this is my producer, man, Tony Rex. Any, any artist out here, you need. Woo! I let my homeboy Tony Rex, you know what I'm saying? He put it down, 21st, no pause records. Get some of this mic, man. 
seen him today so uh yeah i went and visited was, him oh how yeah. was that he doesn't look a day older than 30 you know he's got beautiful skin and uh he looks great and he's in good spirits and he's level-headed and he's smart as he's ever has been you know smart as he ever he's always been smarter than all the rest of us i mean you know uh, no doubt about that but mm. uh he's he's still the same leader and and he hasn't lost any of his qualities cool. i have yeah. to say that he's 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 a rock you know, and he still is. So I, I enjoyed seeing him again, and uh, he asked me if I got a boob job. And I don't know why, I think my boobs grew. <laughs> but no, I did it. But uh, he was like, wow, you look great, Sylvia. So it's been a while. It's been right. a lot, because he, he, he hadn't put me on his visiting list for about a couple of years. So, because yeah. he's been trying to do music, he had pain, and all those other guys. So it was good to be able to be back on his visiting list, so... I'm glad you were able to see him. Yeah. I've heard uh, they're going to put him away for for 45, 45 days. days. Yeah, for, so, for, uh, for phone because of the phone thing. All right, so yeah, well, hey, uh, I appreciate it, and uh, I'll see you around again next time uh, we get together. Okay, sounds great. Thank it's you. good seeing you, Jose.